Welcome to this second look at the Jewel Valley map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me again. This is an update, an addendum. I made a mistake. Um, I missed something big and something important. Um, the maker of the map, Jewel Valley, Gridu, is part of my Discord community. And yesterday had posted in there thanking you know, me for doing the, the tour. I initially posted to say the map was live and I was in the process of doing the map tour. Um, and then posted to say that I had missed something. And this was me misreading and misunderstanding something in the description. Also based off of something that I haven't encountered before. And it's it's very easy. You get into a sort of rhythm of how you run through doing certain things. Whether it be mod reviews, map tours, whatever it may be. Your let's plays, anything. And I've, I've encountered maps that have had multiple versions before. With certain things that are different on different versions. But in the description it says this map can also be played in a multiplayer one versus one map where you start across the river from each other. You both start with the same items, there are two of everything two trains, two mines, two custom stone processing plants, etc. So I read that and thought, okay, fair enough, that's pretty cool, you can play it in multiplayer against each other. So I went on, as I normally do, in solo mode and went through everything. And I did point out the fact that if you were going to play it against another person in multiplayer, you are you going to have to put certain items in because certain items were missing. I was wrong. Um, and that's why I'm doing this, this video. So, rather than go in career mode on solo and click on whatever you're going to do and play it, if you go into multiplayer, if I go to create game now, empty slot, and then we'll go across until we get to Jewel Valley. If I click on that now, I don't want any mods necessarily installed. I'm good. I'll disable them all, deselect them all. Press continue and away we go. So I'm in the map and as you will see, top right hand corner it says zero. That's because I haven't joined a farm yet. Um, and this was something I, I, I'm trying to think of another map I've done a map tour on where I've encountered this. And I can't think of one. Um, but when I did the map tour yesterday, we started with our start equipment. As you can see, I've got no icons or anything showing. I have got them enabled. We've got our start equipment and machinery and that kind of thing. And, and I said, you know, that is great. And there are duplications of some things, but there weren't duplications of everything. And that's where I'd made my mistake. So if we come into here and we go to the map, this is what the map looks like on multiplayer. Now, we did have the two train lines, one and two. We had the red and the blue. And I had all the stuff that was associated with the red line. Now, as you can see, equipment and machinery on the multiplayer version is duplicated. So all the equipment and machinery that we had when I did the solo one is showing now as a second farm on multiplayer. I also said when I went up to the mine that there's conveyor belts up here for loading stone um, and that... You would, um, you would need to duplicate that in the other mine. But if you look there, we've got a couple of dots there. It is all duplicated, including... So here we had the bio-diesel um, production and we've got the bridal tailors. Those are duplicated over here. So as well as the main stuff in town, the barn sale point, the sleep tree, everything has been duplicated. Now, on multiplayer, you have to assign yourself to a farm. So we've got our east farm and our west farm. I'm saying red and blue, but obviously pink and lilac, pink and purple, whatever you know. So if I join to the, that farm now and we come out, you'll now see that all the icons that I've got illuminated are showing for me because I've joined that farm. It's showing, now I don't have to have those turned on, but just for the, the purposes of showing you. So all the stuff I showed you yesterday is here on this farm. I'm going to wade across the river. Probably swim, actually. So on the other side, we've got the duplicates. So we've got our sleep trigger, we've got our carport, we've got our pickup, trailer. All the equipment that's on the other side is all here and duplicated, including some of the farm machinery and equipment. Now, on the other side, this tractor is in the barn, the old barn. But here, we've got the fence with the front loader. I'm trying to look on the map and see if I miss anything. It's close, um, but we do have actually, Ford another river. Ford, mm, maybe not. 
So we've got our tailors and our bridle. Now, obviously I haven't got any icons showing on this one because if I want to be on this one, I've got to switch over to it and join the farm. Now I haven't changed permissions or anything, done anything like that. Now, if I wanted to, if you wanted to play with somebody, you can grant contractor access. That's part of the multiplayer thing. And if I go onto the other farm, I can do the same thing again. I can grant contractor access. But if you want to play against each other and you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Um, so all the stuff is there. And as you can see, now I've switched over to this farm. All the icons are shown for this one. If you didn't watch the map tour yesterday, this is not a full map tour. This is just writing a wrong. This is correcting something that I made a mistake on. So our biodiesel production is here already. As is the diesel tank. Stone processing is here. I'm trying to look down to the bottom to see what equipment I've missed. There's another vehicle. Try and see where the harvester is. We've got to cross another river. There's the Bura. Oh, I found one! Spoiler! There are 12 of those to collect. What are they worth? Okay. So just over there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a Bureau tractor. Let me just go back to the map because I am curious. Oh, it's up all up there. So yeah, almost, I mean not, I said this on the map, on the initial map tour. It's not um, exactly symmetrical, but you have got duplicates and I, I, I wanted a I felt really bad when I got the when I saw the message on discord and I went in and I read the information I came on and checked it I thought I can't how did I misread that but again it, it comes down to the fact I don't think I've ever encountered that before I just assumed you'd come on and on multiplayer you'd set it up because I'm used to setting up maps setting up farms and getting them ready for a let's play it didn't occur to me that there would be a preset map ready to go for doing that but it, it it clearly states it so it was my error my mistake that i felt i needed to correct and that in essence that's it that, that's what i wanted to show you i wanted to show you the the fact that it is all set to go um also the fact if, if somebody did watch my because people watch my map tours and and you know, some people will go away and they'll have a go and they'll message me back and say oh you missed this you missed that you got this wrong that's fine i have no problem with that at all i will hold my hands up i always say on a map tour if i miss something i apologize if i get something wrong i apologize i have amended things and corrected things in the past where i've made mistakes on maps um but i don't want people to go away on solo player and spend ages and ages and ages setting up because they do want to do this and play against another person when you could very easily just jump into multiplayer and do i mean to be fair if you're playing multiplayer anyway as soon as you went into multiplayer it would set this up for you but you know what i mean um if you spent a load of time setting it up solo then jumped onto multiplayer um i didn't want that to be uh, an issue for anyone so i hope that's okay i hope i've corrected righted a wrong and I hope I've explained myself clearly enough. You might not play multiplayer, so you might not have encountered the multiplayer menu before or anything like that. Um, but it's very straightforward to uh, jump in and out and down through this menu. There we go. Just switch between the farms. Like so. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.